Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami ng makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Aba, Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara na sa unang-una, ngayon at magpakailanman, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. O Hesus ko, patawarin mo ang aming mga sala, iligtas mo kami sa apoy ng impyerno, hanguin mo ang mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio, lalong-lalo na iyong nangangailangan ng iyong awa. Aba po, Santa Mariang Hari, Ina ng Awa, Ikaw ang kabuhayan at katamisan, Aba, pinananaligan ka namin, ikaw nga ang tinatawagan namin, pinapanaw na taong anak ni Eva. Ikaw rin ang pinagbubuntong ang hininga namin, ng aming pagtangis, dini sa lupang bayang kahapis-hapis. Ay Aba, pintakasi ka namin, ilingon mo sa amin, ipakita mo sa amin ang iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, maawain, maalam, at matamis na birhen. Ipanalangin mo kami, Santang Ina ng Diyos. Nang kami ay maging dapat makinabang sa mga pangako ni Yesu Kristong Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos, na ang bugtong na anak ay nagkatawang tao, na matay at muling nabuhay, upang tamuhin para sa amin, Hanggang timpalang walang hanggang kaligtasan, ipagkaloob mo na sa pamamagitan ng pagdidili-dili namin ng mga misteryo ng kabanal-banalang rosaryo ng Birheng Maria na mata mo ang kanilang mga ipinangangako. Alang-alang din kay Kristong Panginoon namin. Amen. Sumapayapa nawa ang kaluluwa ng mga yumao sa grasya ng Panginoong Diyos. Amen. Sa ngala ng Ama, at ng Anak, at ng Spiritu Santo. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. God is generous and gives us more than we can ever deserve. In turn, we have to mirror this generosity to others, going beyond the limits of strict justice. When we see the latecomers, our brothers and sisters who turn to God after living a desolate life, we must encourage them in their struggle to change their ways rather than wish that they be made to pay for their sinful past. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Antonio Wang, SVD. Please all stand. Bayan muling magtipon, awitan ang Panginoon sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This is the 25th Sunday in ordinary time. Today also the solemnity of Our Lady of Benia, Francia, the patron of the, the Bicol region. Maybe we can also ask her to pray for us. And in the Gospel today, uh, Jesus gave us a parable to hire the landowner to hire the people different time, but give them the, the same pay. Some people, they don't understand. They are complaining, just like in our life also. We only seeing or understanding in our human being's sight. But in the first reading also told us, God's sight is different. God's thoughts is different with us also. Maybe we can, through this Mass, we can ask Jesus to guide us, also ask the Holy Spirit to open our mind, open our heart, let us can to uh, follow the sight, the sword of God. And also let us continue to pray for the, uh, this pandemic, this time. May God protect the frontliners, and also especially for those that get sick, especially uh, Paula. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Luwal hati sa Diyos sa kaitaasan, kaloob sa lupa ay kapayapaan, pinupuri ka at ipinagdarangan, sinasamba ka dahil sa dakila mong kaluwal hatian. Panginoon namin Diyos, hari ng langit, amang makapangyarihan. Panginoon, Heso Kristo, buktong nanak ng Diyos, kodero ng Ama. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Kau na naluluklo sa kanan ng Ama. Maawa ka sa amin. Kau 
lamang ang banal, Panginoon, Yesu Kristo, kasama ng Espiritu, sa walhati ng Ama. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your secret law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord is generous in forgiving, and so the wicked person is invited to forsake his wicked ways. It is never too late to return to the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. When our life in Christ, says Paul, any option is desirable. When we live, we are happy to serve Him, and when we die, we shall be with Him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. 
So Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplaces, and he said to them, you too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and, they, and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise, going out about five o'clock. The landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand, stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to these four men, Summon the lab laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage, and on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. But if I wish to give this last one the same as you, or am I not free to do as I wish, with my own money. Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, the summary of the gospel is here, the last, uh, almost the last sentence, saying, Are you envious because I am generous? We see the whole story about the parable. Uh, as a human being, even we see that this road 2,000 years before, or even now a time, from 9 o'clock, at uh, noontime, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, they came the different time, but they received the same reach, the daily reach. Of course, the one they work more, they will complaining. Or we say, just like he said, who bone and bone the day's burden and heat? So how we can get the same? They thought they should get more. But they forget what they agreed in the beginning. They agreed with the landowner, just like the old landowner said. And my friend, I'm not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what you what is yours and go. See, you agreed. You see, different stand. If you say from the beginning, this this man, the 
the, I mean the hired man with this landowner, oh, he agreed daily wage, no problem, he has no problem. But when he see the one came later, get the same, then he feel unfair or it's not equal. That's why we say if we compare, we always have some different stand, even we already agreed. Just like this, the landowner said, are you envious me because I'm generous or I'm not free to do as I wish with my own money? In the sight of the landowner, he did not do something wrong. In the sight of the, the hired man, in the beginning, of course, he agreed, but later he's not agreed. I think the gospel of, for explain the, the gospel today for from the first reading, the prophet Isaiah told us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. We say sometimes also we feel some something happen around us, or even now a time also they there are some people, so they are complaining or oh, why God gave us this virus, this pandemic time, or oh, why it's happened to me, why it's around me, or oh, maybe some sickness or some difficulties. Why is me? Why is not the others? Why, how we can question to God? And just like God, the landowner saying, what if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? If God asks us the same question, what will we answer? Not only say, deal with God, even the same situation, different places, different uh, culture, the custom, also different we. Not say, oh, my stand, my we, my custom should be applied anywhere. Or oh, my measure is a stand. That's why recently I feel something say the we say the common sense, your common sense, my common sense might be different. We say all oh, should be the same. They should know the common sense. What is the common sense? It's common. Should be everyone know everyone be the same. But not everyone be the same. Just like we say, all oh, the parents' treasures should be equally divided to the siblings. But some culture like in Korea, the half of the treasure of the parents were going to the eldest. How we will see? Oh, it's not fair. Why is only give the one, the first one, half? Then the others they share the other half. So be equal. Or oh, everyone get one, one part, the same part, same, same equally. So that, that is their culture. The eldest is to take care of the parents. They to take take care of the all the, the sacrifice. Everything is reliable to the first one. Then that is their tradition. So for us, maybe the gospel Jesus also wants to tell us what is his message to us. Even we believe God, or even late or early, but the internal life prepared for us. Just like we see in the world, we say someone stay longer, someone stay short. We cannot say, oh, Lord, you give me only 20 years, you give me only 30 years, why you give me only 50 years? Or someone, they have 100 years, they have 80 years, or 90 years, or at least 70 years. But God is asking us, during your life, lifetime, your journey, the time I give you, how you prepared yourself. Someone only 20 years, they prepared already the kingdom of God. Someone, they stay even less. There are some martyrs during their young age, teenage, they be martyr. They already prepare themselves. But some people stay longer, 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, not yet prepared. God, of, of course, will question us. What did you do? I gave you so long time. So the same way. The time he gave us, the treasures he gave us, the talents he gave us, just wants us to prepare ourselves. The same purpose, the kingdom of God. So I hope we can through the readings, maybe we can really to understand 
what is really Jesus wants us to do, really to understand really what is God's sword, God's might. Let us can do, even we cannot say the same equally with God's sight, God's uh, wish, but at least to be close, try to do our best. God knows what we are doing. God knows we are trying to do our best. God knows we already did our best. He will understand. He knows our limitation. He knows our weakness. He's always taking care of us, always guiding us. But we have to do our part. Even he did his 99%, but we don't do our 1%. We cannot be perfect. Still 99%. So I hope we can, through the readings, the word of God, let the Holy Spirit to come to guide us always. Let us can really to do our part, do our best to prepare ourselves for the kingdom of God. Amen. Please all rise, let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, of all things visible and invincible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born one of the, the Father before all ages, God, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus reveals to us the Father, who is good to all his children, and who is not outdone in generosity. Full of confidence, we pray to him, Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That church leaders and laity alike may zealously work in the Lord's vineyard, content with the promise of heavenly reward. We pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders, policy makers, and businessmen may answer the people's needs for more decent employment. We pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That labor and management may settle issues through honorable and peaceful bargaining and dialogue. We pray. Loving Father, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That family members may realize the importance of each other and the need for daily dialogue and encounter with one another. We pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may see God's eternal embrace of peace and lead them to the everlasting life. We pray. Loving, Loving Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Especially for those they offered for this Mass, uh, their intentions and also our uh, parish intentions. Father, may your providence not lead us to self-righteousness self and selfishness, but to self selfless love for all. Make us generous like you, that we may live fully and bring others to life. Amen. Please be seated. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. 
we are yours yours as we stand at the table you set yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget we are the signs of your life with us yet we are yours we are yours take our bread we ask you take our hearts we love you take our lives oh father we are yours we are yours please stand Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice sacrifice at your hands for for the the praise and and glory of his name, name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sins so that you might love you, loving us, what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, oh, holy Lord, Heaven and earth are full of, of your, your glory, glory a son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our lives. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Rodrigo, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially here in front of you. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her Jesus spouse, with the blessed apostles, especially St. Jude Deus, with Anna Dianzen, Joseph Freinadmans, Pedro Calonso, S.P.D. Martius, Blessed Maria Helena and Josefa, Chinese Martius, and all the saints who have pleased the youth of the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amanamin suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo. Dito sa lupa, para nang sa langit, bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in all days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your power souls, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Kotero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Maawa ka sa amin. Kotero ng Diyos maawa Kodero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Maawa ka sa amin. Kodero ng Diyos, maawa ka. Kodero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo. Ipagkaloob mo sa amin ang kapalanan. 
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He is always among us. He is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Panalangin para sa may di makatatanggap ng komunyon sa oras na ito. O Jesus, nananalig ako sa pananahan mo sa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Minamahal kita higit sa lahat at hinahangad ka ng aking kaluluwa. Hindi ko man matatanggap ngayon ang iyong katawan at dugo. Inaasahan ko ng patuloy kang mamumuhay sa aking puso. Naniniwala ako na narito ka at kaysa ka na aking buong pagkatao. Huwag mo ipahintulot na mawari ako sa iyo. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, give me strength. Hear me, Jesus, hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me, and when the call of death arrives, Bid me come to thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Hear me, Jesus, hide me in thy wounds, that I may never leave thy sight. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the call of death arrives, bid me come to thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. You have laid down your precepts to carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with, sacra with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us.
for our Holy Eucharist this Sunday. We are slowly uh, opening up once again, but of course with the proper health protocols to be observed. On Sundays and on Thursdays, we have two Masses, the 9 o'clock online Mass and 5 p.m. That means this afternoon at 5 p.m., we will have a second Mass. Secondly, because of the uh, situation, you notice we did not have collection for your uh, Sunday offerings and love offerings and contributions. However, we encourage you to put your love offerings, donations, and contributions which are badly needed by our shrine in the respective boxes here in front and at the back. Thank you very much for your continuing generosity and financial support to the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus. Prayer of St. Gertrude. You stand. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Then you people to you with all their heart. O Lord, we pray for you protect even those who go astray. But when they serve you with undivided heart, you sustain them with still greater care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us proceed in our novena and benediction. Please kneel and kindly turn to page 15. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 37. Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle St. Jude Deus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute thee to the most sacred heart of Jesus. To this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee to this heart to look down upon me with compassion. Who despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To thee, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to thee, and will be thy faithful client until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we, we may expiate all, all our sins by sincere repentance, repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and attain a favorable judgment. Pray, Pray for, for us that, that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed. To rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy Apostle St. Jude the Deus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved Master into the hands of his enemies, 
has caused it to be forgotten by many, but the Church honors and evokes the University as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me, O am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee, to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. And that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. Saint Jude the Deus, pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude the the relative of Jesus Christ, the glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor, of all honor thee and trust in thee. Thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession. For thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help those almost despair of all hope. Look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are stone with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes. But our witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou canst not forsake me this sad light. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude the Deus, pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. O salutaris hostia, quechelipan dis hostium, bella premud hostia. Really and corporately present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh, my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O oh Lord, that I, having adored the divine majesty, here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We now pray for personal and urgent intentions and also pray the 
universal prayer intention by the Church and the Holy Father for respect for the planet's resources, that the planet's resources will not be plundered, but shared in a just and respectful manner. We also pray for God's blessings to the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School for more vocations to the priesthood religious life for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all devotees whose petitions we now lift up to our Heavenly Father. May the Lord graciously bless them in every way, keep them in His abiding love, and increase their faith in answer to their prayers. We now pray the Oratio Imperata against the COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. And together with our personal intentions, to the constant intercession of our beloved patron of Pope Saint Jude Tadeus. We all pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tanto me ergo sacramentum venere mocernui et antiquum documentum novoce datritui Rested fides sublimentum sensum defectui genitori genitorque lausitium milasio salus Procidenti abothroque comparsit laudatio. Amen. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Contain it itself, O oh delight. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memory of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You have lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed, blessed be, be His holy, holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all Thanksgiving be every moment time, be every moment time. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all. We bow before Thee, all on earth Thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore Thee, infinite Thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting hell to those who believe. Hear us for thy sick, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord, the Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle, Jude the Deus and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of religious articles. Please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and your love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father, that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs 
as aids to prayer. May the Lord, in his love and mercy, cherish and reinforce with his blessings these tokens of your devotion and piety, so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody, and you may attain eternal life with joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for joining us today. We invite you again tomorrow at 9 a.m. for our Mass Novena and Benediction here at the National Shrine of St. Jutadeus, Manila, Philippines.